Hi everyone, it's Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. What comes to mind when you hear about snails and slugs? Of course, something slimy and sluggish, something slow that doesn't jump, and also sticks to the ground so hard it's a challenge to pull them off. But the hero of our game today doesn't care at all how gastropods are supposed to behave and jumps perfectly. So let's meet Snail Boy, an epic adventure. It's an arcade game with relatively simple game mechanics. And since the plot here is nothing to write home about, let's go right into the gameplay. Here, you play a naked snail that has lost his shell. The game is a platformer, where in order to pass a level, you have to collect a maximum number of slime slices with a minimum number of actions. You move by swiping on the screen. In general, it is slow and inefficient, but it has to be like that so you can position your guy just right. And the main way of movement? Jumps. Actually, the way this works isn't that much different from what you'd find in Angry Birds. You choose a trajectory, power level of the jump, and forward launch. You can stick to walls and even slide on them. The main thing is not to get impaled on any sharp obstacles. Ooh, ow, ouch, hey! Levels are collected in packs. There are a few packs to choose from, and they are quite big. By the way, if you pass all levels in the pack, well, you get a present in the form of an unlocked secret level. And I left something tasty for the end, the graphics. Well, sure, you can already see that the graphics are decent, but still, the graphics here are what undoubtedly makes the game worth playing. After all, there is nothing terribly original about the game otherwise. What are you talking about, man? Naked jumping snails? Count me in! Well, then, the gameplay and the mechanics don't shine with originality. The graphics are very pleasant, and it makes the most out of an otherwise ordinary game. Not a masterpiece by any stretch, but at least something you wouldn't mind spending a few days playing. The verdict? It's a well-made game and good enough to hold your interest for at least a little while. It's nothing new or original, but at least it's entertaining. I recommend trying it. That's all for today. If you liked it, follow our channel. There's new stuff all the time. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!